It's Friday morning, and it's November the 12th, 2021, and it's a blessing to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and we're going to read just one verse from Proverbs chapter 18 this morning. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 1, says this, Through desire a man having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. And this really points to a lot of things. It points to godly character on the one hand. It points to determination where a person, through desire, he separates himself and he seeks and intermeddles with wisdom. He makes himself accountable to himself. He makes himself accountable to truth because he's desiring to be affected by the truth to that degree. And this ha happens, he intermeddles with, with wisdom, he separates himself, he seeks God's wisdom through the intensity of his desire. And this points to a humble spirit. There's a whole lot that I haven't learned yet. There's a whole lot God has to teach me. And I want to learn it. And I have a strong desire to do that. And so he separates himself from a lot of things in life so that he can be affected by truth, so that he can be controlled by truth, so that he can acquire the wisdom from God that he desires. And the reality is God's wisdom is available to each of us. But we must apply our hearts to it. We must be willing, as the scripture says, to separate ourselves and seek and intermeddle with wisdom, to seek God's wisdom. And it's a great thing to be able to sit in a church service, for example, and experience the ministry of the Holy Spirit to one's heart. And if we're open and willing, God will teach us things. Some people are not affected by teaching and preaching God's word. They just let it roll off their back like water off a duck because they're not desiring to be influenced by that truth. And so they won't be. And it may bring some mild form of conviction to them at some point, but they're not open to it. And so it doesn't permanently change them. And the scripture is saying simply here that God's people People who love the Lord, people who are interested in being affected by divine wisdom can be. They will, through desire, separate themselves and they'll seek an intermeddle with wisdom. And it will change them and it will have a definite effect in their life. Be one of those people. Be one who honestly seeks the Lord. We talk about reading God's word and studying God's word. And people who do this diligently and consistently are people who desire to be affected by the Word of God. And it's something we must pursue and seek after. Somebody has said the best things in life don't just come to you. You have to pick it up and pursue them. The most valuable things in life don't grab your attention. You must seek and pursue after them. The cheap things in life grab your attention, like neon lights on a boulevard. The cheap things in life buy for your attention and your devotion. But the valuable things in life you've got to pursue on purpose. May God help us to have that kind of desire that we're willing to separate ourselves and, and intermeddle with wisdom so that we can be affected by divine truth. God bless you today.